<laughs> she didn't know. Alright, I love you. I'm not sure if anybody really heard the music. Did you guys hear the music? Did you guys hear the music at all? I don't, I don't know, this is like weird. Everybody left. I'm just doing a live video because I feel like talking to you guys. I think I'm gonna try to set this up properly. Let's see, hang on. I look crazy right now, but I just really felt the urge to talk to you guys, so. I'm going with it, you know? Hello, everybody. This is me doing a very, very pointless Instagram live, but not really, because I just want to be here for you guys. If there's anything that you want to ask me or talk to me about, I don't mind, you know, chatting with you guys. <laughs> but I want to get real questions, so ask me anything you want. Obviously, I'm going to, you know, gauge it. But um, is there anything that you guys want to ask me? Because I feel like, I just feel like with, I don't know, all the stuff with L and everything, it's just, it's not, like, I'm. it's not that I'm... I'm not, I'm not, um, I don't get upset with people, if that makes sense. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily feel like it's somebody that's trying to, like, attack me. It's just more that when people write words that I didn't say, it, I just, I don't, I don't feel good about it. But I don't get upset at the person or the magazine or anything. I just feel like I've been private so much because I'm so terrified of what these magazines are going to say about me and like terrified that they're going to like, I don't know, <laughs> what are they going to do? They're not going to do anything. Um, it's just refreshing to be able to talk to you guys and to get back to, I don't know, just get back to talking to you guys. I miss you. I feel like I've been... I don't know. I just, I feel like I want to talk to you guys. It feels weird, but, um, I'm here. So ask me any questions. Um, if you'd like, let's try this first time doing it. 
You guys are very sweet. You're saying a lot of nice things, but I really want some questions. Is anybody feeling anything? Does anybody want an advi any advice on anything? Or, I don't know, just real questions. It's very sweet that you want to say, like, nice things, and it makes my whole life, like, literally, I freak out. It's, like, the weirdest thing. But I just, I don't know. I just want to, you know, get some questions. How do you feel about... Malaysia, I love Malaysia very much. Indonesia, I am coming on tour, I am. I promise. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't understand some of these. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. Which project are you currently working on? Um, I am working on my new album. And I've been working on it for three years. Now I feel like I can finally talk to you guys. So this feels good. Um, my album, I just haven't, I haven't wanted to release my album. I, I don't feel like I need to release anything that isn't complete. And the reason why is because everything that I want to say in my album, the next album that comes out, it for me is literally defining me as a woman, if that makes sense. So... For for me, I feel like personally, I'm not. I wasn't ready, and I'm sorry if that was like kind of a bummer. Like people would be like, "You didn't promote your song or something," and and that's just like I don't I don't feel like that matters. I think it's more just if the song means something, if the song is personal, if the song is it actually means something to you, then it doesn't need to be rushed. If that makes sense, so. I'm currently doing that. I feel more inspired than I've ever felt in my entire life, and it's blowing my mind. Um, being 26 is really weird. I like want to just tell you guys everything that's been going on because I'm excited. I just needed some, t you know, time to just get focused. And I'm sorry if I'm insane. Um, do you plan on touring again in the lap? Yeah, of course. I do. I just wasn't ready. Mentally, I wasn't capable of dealing with what it was. There's So there's this doctor. This is actually really interesting. There's this doctor called Dr. Amen, and he's phenomenal. He, he, he does these brain scans. Bear with me. It sounds weird. But he said something really fascinating to me. He said that we have these pleasure centers in our head, behind our head. And the number one thing that exhausts our pleasure centers is fame. And that's, I mean, obviously he's going to explain that much better because he's a genius at what he does. But um, it, was, it was interesting to me because it made me think what I feel right now, genuinely, what I feel right now with however many followers I have, yada, yada, it's the same kind of element of fame when you have 100 followers. Like when you're like sitting there and you have, you know, you're anxious because you're like looking at it and you want people to like you. So you're like, okay, let me just make sure I look good and blah, blah, blah. And it, and it actually is the same feeling I get when I post a picture. Like I'll post a picture and all of a sudden like people will like it. And then I'm like, cool. That's it. That's literally it. <laughs> I just think it's the same thing. Like, I wish you guys could get in my mind for a bit. Actually, no, I don't because I have an insane mind. Um, but I feel like I wish you can get in my mind with that because it's like, this is such a thing, right? Like, I'm on Instagram right now because I want to talk to you guys and I want to, because I just miss you. I don't feel like I, I want to know what you guys want to know because everyone else is really annoying. <laughs> like, every single um, whatever you read, like it's, I mean, I'm, and I'm not like covering it up. Everybody knows you're going to click something because it's interesting to you. That's what happens. And that's okay. Like, you know, I just don't go on it on, on anything. I don't really pay attention to any of it because it's, I don't know. It's insane. I don't think anyone's listening to me, by the way. I feel like I'm just talking to myself. Cause there's these like heart things, but I know my fans will post it and keep reposting it and stuff. So I'm sure I'll get a lovely call from 
my team tomorrow, but I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. I just want to be real with you guys. There's, there's nothing that I wouldn't tell you. I mean, that's not true. <sighs> just because I want to protect myself, obviously, but I, I just, yeah, that's it. What makes you to be, no, I love A21 Project, you're so, oh yes. So the A21 Project, um, it's a human trafficking organization that I work with and it's, Christine Kane is the founder of it, but I actually just found out through friends what this organization does exactly. And it's weird because y you actually know that that's something going on, but nobody talks about human trafficking. Like human trafficking is, it, nobody wants to talk about that subject because it's uncomfortable and it's awkward. And, you know, people are like, okay, what are you going to do about it? And it's like, it's not like that kind of attitude is never going to really solve anything. I think for me, I'm so, I'm just so excited to be able to learn so much so that I can help in any way I can, if that makes sense. So I started working with them in January and I've been interning with them for five months and it's been awesome. It's been really cool. Um, yeah, they're, that, this is, sorry, I'm like, I'm, my mind is really crazy, and I'm going to post this later so anyone can watch it, I don't care, but um, I felt it on my heart, I felt it on my heart that I needed to do something, and I was just not satisfied, I wasn't satisfied with stuff, like none of this stuff matters, none of this stuff matters, I don't care how many followers I have, I don't, I don't care, I could have none tomorrow, like, makes no difference. No difference. It's just a number and it's insane that people are so obsessed with a number. It's like, chill out. Who gives Sorry. I'm, I'm sounding a little crazy, but it's just because I wanted to share it with you guys. I love you. I'm just being myself. Um, and I don't really care. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone writes. I don't care what they're going to try to pick apart in this live video. And, you know, it's just like, I don't care. I really don't care anymore. And this is who I am. So, yeah. I'm either going to lose a ton of fans or gains. <laughs> People are like, she's insane. I am not trusting this human being at all. And that's fine. If you're on here and you enjoy this, this is cool. And if you don't, you don't, that's fine. I'm just here to tell you guys the truth. You know, whatever you want to hear. How do you feel now? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's good. I had a weird, obviously I had a weird couple of months, but it's fine. Like I feel, I feel good. I just had to make conscious decisions every day in order to to get there but yeah it's fine i miss you too mary these aren't questions anymore ask me some questions anything you want it's like 1 30 a.m <laughs> and i've been awake do i miss my disney life yeah, I do. I wish I could be a kid again. Actually, I feel like a kid, but I feel like I have anxiety because I started... Hang on, hang on. I feel like I have anxiety because I've started to have a lot of panic attacks and feel really uncomfortable in school. I have that a lot. I get this feeling where I start sweating. Like, I start sweating um, like in places because I'm nervous or all the time. I was in the studio last night and I was recording this really, like, I'm so excited. Um, I was recording an amazing song and while I was in the studio, I started sweating. Like I literally started sweating in the weirdest places. Like, and I think it was because in my mind, I'm like, oh, this song isn't good. Like this isn't going to be good. I feel like it's in my head that I think this song's going to be good. And I don't know if it's good. I mean, that's, that's the truth. I don't know if it's good, but I feel, 
I, I don't know. I feel like it's, I don't know, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying here. Bear with me. Anxiety is a very difficult thing, but what I, what helps me through everything is my, is my faith. But at the same time, I started to figure out where I came from. I started asking questions. I started, yeah, I just, I started asking questions about where I came from, getting to know me first, figuring out who am I and, you know, do I like who I am? Um, yeah, so I, I don't think that's, that's not a bad feeling. If you feel anxiety and, and you get panic attacks, it's completely normal. But you probably want to figure out why you're getting panic attacks. You know? Be helpful just to get to know yourself. Could you come and say, I don't know how to speak all the languages. Talkie Talkie is a great song. The music video is so fun. It was hysterical. I was dying laughing. I mean, it's beautiful. Obviously, the video is amazing, but you're like you're on set, and literally, it's amazing. You're like with DJ Snake, Ozuna. You're at party. It's like everybody's there, and it's so funny. Like, isn't that a funny group? I love them. We had the best time. Like, it was so fun. Um, hello, Brandon Roland. Don't know who you are, but hello. else gotta find a good question in here I was working with Cardi Cardi was hysterical <laughs> she was really cool very nice um I'm not gonna go to a Spurs game um anytime soon but I'd like to <laughs> gosh I'm such a weirdo um gonna wait till I find a good question I don't know when to end these things so advice to stay motivated when studying I hate studying um advice well okay I I think for me I love I love things that I'm interested in so I feel like in school if if it's something you're genuinely passionate about it's actually really fun to start learning more like almost learning more about about it with other people like figuring something out together has always I don't know it's just always made sense to me like when I when I study a script I want to know every single thing about the script and I want to know like where the inspiration came from and you know everything behind that and I just think it's that's I mean it's it's kind of similar I was not good at school I was terrible in school I was not good but if that gives you any help. <laughs> I've also been doing um, this. So for like maybe a year or two, I've been studying dialectical behavior therapy. And that's a therapy that is, it's actually, it's interesting because it's almost like a big book of parenting, <laughs> if that makes sense. But it's actually just teaching you about your like you know we have a an emotional mind we have a rational mind and then we have a wise mind in the middle of it and it's like figuring out how to deal with your stress distress tolerance dealing with um emotional regulation you know when you're feeling so many things and it's out of control like you're freaking out about it and then that feeling i think is it's just it's like the worst feeling um and dbt has helped me figure out what, you know, like how I can, I don't know. I just think, check it out. <laughs> check it out if you're interested. But I think dialectical behavior therapy should be in every school. Um, I think it's powerful. It's, it's allowed me to get to know myself and it's allowed me to just be the best version of myself and deal with the stuff, you know, but I wouldn't have been able to do it without God. That's for sure. Okay, I'm learning about that in my psychological or psychology class, sorry. Yeah, that's really cool. DBT is actually incredible. I really suggest it. What is human trafficking? Oh, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I'm going to do some stuff more on that where I can really 
sit down and say it because it's such a heavy subject and it's something that it's something that's important but what human trafficking is is all around you that's what's insane i mean people think of human trafficking like sex trafficking right you just think of that but what i don't understand is how people don't know that it's actually all around us it's actually in it's in california i think orange yeah orange county is the number one place for um human trafficking in california in orange county i feel like people like love orange county and want to like live there that's it that's not okay like that's that's not okay that that's happening at all and so i feel like i needed to learn everything i could possibly learn about human trafficking because i what am i doing i'm in a house i'm in like this nice place i have nice things like I don't care about this stuff. Like if this is actually happening and it's happening in California, I probably should be doing something about it. So I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I'm wired about doing some stuff that's going to be hopefully big, but educate yourself as much as you can on human trafficking. I promise you it's something that's very heartbreaking and really, really difficult to, to swallow, but it has to be talked about. It has to be discussed because I'm disgusted that this isn't something that we're not all talking about more. And then it's just there in the background. It's like dark and web stuff. It's just, I don't know. Sorry, I make a lot of faces. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to answer questions and read this and it's really distracting, so I'm sorry. Um, just check in. Hi, Cruz Beckham. Hi, Madison. You little sweetheart. I'm like literally never also desperate need of that baking night. Yeah, come over whenever you want. Keeps turning around. Oh, thanks. I don't know how to do this, so I'm just gonna keep it going. <laughs> I think the whole point of me doing this was genuinely just to answer some of your questions. So tomorrow when people wanna put it on like the news and they're gonna be like, oh my God, you know, Selena's gone crazy. She's talking on Instagram. Uh, I don't care. You know, this is just, this is who I am and that's all. So I just wanted to talk to you guys. <laughs> literally just wanted to talk to you guys <laughs> and Madison apparently I love you Angel so ask away if you have anything I just can't see anything do you my question is why are you so... that's not a question that's very sweet though she said why are you it's a compliment I don't want to compliment myself any chance you'll do a show in India, I would love to. Yeah, absolutely. Let me finish this album. Let me figure it out. Mm. What's my new song? My new song's amazing. My new song is, is just, <laughs> I, um, I'm just, I'm excited because my new song is not even a new song. I don't even know what's coming out yet. I feel like I'm going to take some time, but it's going to be really soon. And it's a beautiful message about girls who don't realize that they're rare. You know, they don't, I don't feel like girls are told enough that they're rare. And the song was, is supposed to be an anthem for those girls because at the end of the day, we forget that. We are so eager to try to be other people. We're so eager to try to be whoever it is you're following. And you're thinking that's going to get you to the place you want to be, and it just doesn't. Um, I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm kind of going on a tangent out loud. But I, um, 
yeah, anyway. <laughs> I just think you're all great. I think you're great. And this is, this stuff can be really dangerous. And so why I'm doing this is because I feel like I'm going to talk about it and everyone's going to talk about this tomorrow or whatever, wherever you are in the world. And I, I don't care. I just wanted to talk to you guys. I keep saying it a million times, but I'm going to be doing this a little bit more to encourage you guys to answer any questions that you have. Um, I will be here and there'll be a lot more interesting next time because apparently I'm just rambling because I don't know how to do a live video. People ask me all the time, like, why, how are you the most followed person? Like, what's your tactic? I'm like, nothing, <laughs> nothing's my tactic. I don't even have the damn app on my phone. <laughs> I just go got it back on my phone because I was like, it's time to tell, it's time to talk to the people. It's time to talk to my fans. Sorry, not people, but people that want to talk to me. Um, Giorgio, no, George Janko, yeah. Jesus is working in me, it's pretty weird. Um, <laughs> I know. Yep. What's the most important thing I've learned this year? Let's see. A lot, definitely a lot. I think when I, before I turned 26, there was like this weird time in my life that I think I was kind of on autopilot for about five years, kind of just going through the motions and um, figuring out who I am and just doing the best I could. And then slowly but surely doing that People have been like, well, I don't know. They would pick me apart. They would pick me apart completely. And so every time I try to do something right, every time I try to do something good, um, I felt like people were picking me apart. So it's like anything I do, someone's going to say something. And it's just annoying. So I let that fear, I let that fear of what people are going to say. And by people, it's like <laughs> this. I don't know. But... It's, it's just that scared me, you know, like for some reason you guys aren't going to like me if I'm not myself, um, or if I'm not what you think I am, but this is who I am. So people are like, Oh, she's so nice or she's so fake or she's so this. It's like, okay, cool. Get to know me. Have a conversation with me. I mean, not really. I don't have time to talk to you. I don't know how anybody has time to hate anyone. It blows my mind. I'm like, what, what are you doing with your life? Not in a mean way. Just like, why spend any energy on anything like commenting something negative? That doesn't make sense to me. Like before, and I've done it before. Trust me. I've messed up so many times, like legit messed up and said dumb things, you know, but sorry, someone was calling me. Um, I felt like I feel like once I started to get to talk to myself a bit more, then I started realizing that this is the coolest feeling in the whole world. Like actually getting to know who I am is the best feeling. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I think social media is really insane. And I think all of you are awesome. And I could care less about all of these random questions about, how you became that and how you did this. And it's like, can you give me, you know, the, the secret potion to having, I can't believe how much people care that I have followers. I don't understand. Why do, why do people care? It's, that's the craziest thing to me. I have no idea why, because that's not what life's about at all. I, it makes no difference to me. If I had zero followers, literally, I mean, I'd be sad, but I give, I mean, what? I've lived my whole life in front of everyone. And this is what you get. <laughs> um, I'm gonna look for more questions. I'm up because I cannot sleep. And I was just thinking about how interesting social media was and 
the fascination behind it, like so curious as to why people care so much. Like why do people talk about it every day and why do people say, I mean, it just, it kills me. It kills me that it destroys, it destroys people's lives. Like I don't understand why some, why people are obsessed with something that hurts you. It's, it's not bad. I love Kevin. Okay. I love you, Kevin. You invented Instagram. You're brilliant. I think you're awesome. And this is the coolest thing that's ever happened because now I can just talk to my fans directly and I, I don't have to do another anything. <laughs> well, that's not true. I like talking to radio. I love talking to radio and I love talking to, um, uh, people who ask me nice questions, <laughs> basically. Favorite place in the world. Mm, anywhere I am. <laughs> I just need myself. And God. Max, what church do you go to? Who are these kids? They have little check marks on them. Are you going to see me? No, I'm not. This is what people are afraid of. All this live stuff. I don't know why people are afraid of this. What makes you motivated every day? Um, what makes me motivated every day? So every morning I wake up and I have this book called Jesus Calling. And I read one page from that. And I have these dry erase markers. And I write things all over my mirror, like in my bathroom, that I need to remind myself of. Like maybe it's... Hey, like, don't forget that you got, you got through something. And that was really amazing that you got through that. Like, remember that and be grateful for that. Kind of making sure that I'm like, okay, figuring it out. Like one of my lines in the song, it's like, um, I don't, I'm not saying that I have everything figured out, but I know that I'm special. And that is the coolest feeling in the world. But in order to get there, you kind of just have to I mean, people say fake till you make it, but I just more so than anything just needed to be honest and I needed to talk to really great people and yeah, <laughs> and I read my Bible. Um, oh, Mosaic. I love Mosaic. I'm not going to Mosaic though. Um, I'm sorry. Not that, but not because I don't want to. <laughs> I'm probably going somewhere else. I love mosaic. See any questions? Just checking. What is your, what's my favorite song nowadays? Lauren Daigle. Anything Lauren Daigle. I think she's amazing. My favorite is, um, Lose My Religion. If that's the right title for it. Which chapter of the Bible do I like to read? Um, all of them. But sometimes I just, I think, sometimes I just need Proverbs. You know, sometimes I'll just read Proverbs and I'm like, yep, yeah, there we go. Needed that. It's my favorite. Sorry, there's like so many comments. I'm just like trying to figure it out. Oops. Not cute. All right, well, while you guys sit on that for a second, how do you stay so true to yourself? Um, like, I, I mean, staying true to, I don't know. Staying true to myself is, is, I just don't, I can't buy into anything. Like, I don't, I don't, I just get up every single day and I'm so grateful to be alive and I'm so grateful to God that I'm even breathing after, you know, some of the stuff I've been through.
Sorry, I'm reading this. This this looks so weird. See, this is why I don't do social media live stuff. Because it's like, these are going to be screenshotted and they're like going to post pictures of me like. And they're going to be like, oh my gosh, she's so ugly. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think the, the past year. First off, I got, I, I took a break from this for a bit. And then after I took a break from that, it was just more about really being diligent and I think people get scared of of doing I don't know maybe people get scared of of being vulnerable with other people um and I just try my hardest every day to show up for my friends I try every single day to show up for the people that matter to me every day for those who need me um that's just that's that's my life every day like what helps me is helping other people um, but also being really, really kind to myself because I really hated myself for so long. Like, I hated who I was. And it's so weird because no one else did. Well, a lot of other people did. That don't matter. But it was... I just didn't like who I was. Like, I just... I don't think I cared enough about who I was. And that was terrifying. <laughs> just seeing if any more questions are here. How am I now? I'm great. I'm great. I keep waking up every day, say my grateful, my grateful list, pray. You know. <laughs> A while ago, Courtney suggested by Rick Warren. It literally changed my life. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Disneyland Gomez is my like OG girl. But she said, a while ago, Courtney suggested What on Earth Am I Here For by Rick Warren. And it's literally changed my life. Tell her thank you for me if you get the chance. Heck, yeah, I'm going to tell Courtney thank you. She would be so happy to know that. How to deal with depression. So, oof. The, everyone's, maybe you've heard some of this stuff before, so I might be, you know, repeating things that I don't need to repeat for you, but if I could, it's like depression. <laughs> Sorry if I could. Depression was my life for five years straight. Depression and anxiety was the forefront of everything that I did in my life. Every single thing. And and I and and, and I would still do it. Like I would make myself, you know, have the courage to just keep going. Um and, and I think that slowly but surely it just kind of happened. I'm sorry. This is really overwhelming me. <laughs> I'm so crazy. I also sound weird. I hate my voice. You know when you hate your own speaking voice? It's like... What do you think? Francis... Oh, wait, San Francisco. I love San Francisco. Sorry, I want to answer some good questions. Uh, I'm trying to find some. What makes you happy and be stronger right now? Jesus. And my friends. My friends are the most amazing people in the whole world. Like, if there's, if there's some, if there's any, I mean, friendship is so important. And my, my best friends have literally saved my life. They are such good people. Courtney is so cool. We call her CJB because she's just like awesome. Raquel is hysterical. Like everything she does, it's like beautiful, but like whimsical. And Ashley's the OG. Ashley Cook. She's awesome. She's very serious. You know. I, and by the way, all of you are like, who the hell are these people? But it's more just like people who know my friends. They're, they're really good people. They're not in the industry at all. In fact, they loathe, they loathe it sometimes. But 
they love like they love what I get to do with like my fans and for my fans. But all the other stuff, they're protective of me. Um, what's your advice to forget someone? <sighs> well, it, you you can't really just like forget. You know, you can't really just forget someone. It's more just, you kind of have to figure out why you're still holding on to them. Like, why are you, like, why do you want to forget them? Um, and then I think that's where you start. Ask yourself that question, like, why do you want to forget them? And did they hurt you? And if they did and it's not healthy for you to go back, or to that thought, you know, it's, it, that's not good. As far as like losing someone, I mean, you never do, but sometimes forgetting can be a bad thing. You know, sometimes you might need to be reminded of something. So whatever that question meant, um, I hope I answered it. Yeah, that's true. Someone said, I think the real question is, why do you not want to forget them? I don't know if I, I don't know, but good job. Okay, I'm not quite sure what else to do. So I might be wrapping this up because this is literally the longest live ever. Somebody tell me what the longest live ever was. I'm sure, I'm sure that somebody beat it, but I feel pretty weird that I just spent all this time talking to a phone screen. <sighs> but it's just because I want to talk to you guys. How's Taylor? Taylor's awesome. I love her. She's amazing. I just talked to her today. She's literally like my big sister. I tell her everything. She's so smart. It freaks me out. Um, my middle name is Marie. <laughs> Hi, my I'm Selena Marie. Literally, someone just asked me that, and I said it. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I, I think I'm pro I think I'm gonna end this <laughs> because I don't know how to do this, but don't I mean I'm gonna do this tomorrow um, and I'd love to just answer some more questions if you have any. Um, obviously, I don't know if I am coming back on tomorrow, so please don't hold me to that. <laughs> but um, I'm here for you guys and I I don't care about the press. I don't care about what people are going to say. I just wanted to do this to talk to you guys. I just wanted to just be real with you because I don't feel like being on another magazine cover. I don't feel like being on another one ever again. It just, it doesn't matter. Everything that I want to say, I can say it right here with you guys. And I mean that. Like, I try to say things in an interview for an hour. I'm talking to someone and they're just, you know, talking to me. And I'm thinking, it's really good. I'm like, yeah, you know, you're here. You're at the offices. You're experiencing things. And the next thing you know, it's, and it's not anyone's fault. People just want to, like, get people's attention. But I don't really understand why. Um, but I guess I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I love you guys very much. And I'm sorry. I look crazy. I don't care. I, like, had this cold sore. I had, like, a pimple. I don't care. Whatever. This is who I am. Fully. And completely. Bye, guys. <laughs> Such a psycho. I'm going to bed because I'm going to try to go to bed. But, um, yeah. This is where I'll be sleeping. So, good night, guys. I love you very much. Take care.